So the Departed. The Departed, for those of you that don't know, it's a 2006 Best Picture winner at the Academy Awards, and I'm continuing, you know, my Best Picture reviews. Um, the Departed, I'll be honest, I've had an interesting relationship with, and when people ask me, oh, what do you mean relationship with the film? I mean, literally, uh, this film, I've it's been in my life uh, five, six years now. When I was 17 years old, um, I came across this film because, you know, I saw it on IMDb's Top 250 list, and I was like, all right, I'll watch it. Saw it, and I thought, I was like, all right, it's all right. It's entertaining for what it is, but, eh, it's all right. Um, never thought I would watch it again, honestly. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, I can say I've seen it. Then, of course, uh, I go to college several years later, and that's one of the films that, like, is in the choices. Because we had a choice, The Departed or No Country for Old Men. I, of course, chose No Country for Old Men, and the entire class chose The Departed because Leonardo DiCaprio. And so I'm watching the film, and I'm like, it's solid. Like, you know, it's better than I remember it to be. And my teacher says something at the end of the class because he knew from day one that I loved films. Like, I, I'll never forget, I wrote on a piece of paper, like, you're supposed to write your favorite film. I wrote down, like, 30 choices. And I remember in class, like, he was just reading me, like, oh, wow, this is really good. This is really good. Not to jerk myself off, but, I mean, that's what he said. And him and I, we were talking because, you know, we, we had a good, you know, relationship in class. And he told me, he's like, yeah, he's like, there's a lot of themes that, like, people kind of miss on in this film. And he's like, just as you're watching it again, he's like, just kind of notice it. So I figured I'd rewatch it because, you know, after class, when I told him I thought it was just solid, he's like, I don't think you should rewatch it. So I rewatched it and I was like, oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice certain characters have, uh, you know, certain little details about them that could attribute to a certain identity crisis that they might have. I'm not going to say who or what, but there's a lot of things in this film that over time I've just really, really grown to appreciate. Um, and I've rewatched it since then, since those two times, because uh, then I showed it to uh, my girlfriend, then I showed it to a bunch of my friends, and now I've, I've seen it by myself, and I'm like, this, this really is a good movie. Um, it's not the best film of 2006, and I'll get into that at the end of my review, but it is a really, really well done film. And finally, with all the exposition out of the way, I'm going to say the plot, for those of you who don't know. The plot focuses on two characters, one played by Matt Damon, the other played by Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, the one is a mole for uh, the police department, meaning he is in the police department, but he's secretly actually uh, in a gang by Jack Nicholson. And then you have Leonardo DiCaprio, who's a mole in the, gang the gangster squad, that's what I'll call him, but he's actually a police officer. So it's it's very interesting. And I've seen the original film, which was Infernal Affairs, really good film. And I've always kind of debated about which is better. And I, I do have to rewatch Infernal Affairs to actually be able to settle that debate, at least for myself. But the part is a well-done version of it. The idea of identity crisis in a film or show or just in general, it is fascinating. And to see it displayed on screen with such pistache, it's great to see. It's well acted. It's got some really neat shots. There were one or two where I was like, what? But overall, it's a well-shot film. Its soundtrack is very upbeat, too. Um, it really gives you a feel for the Boston era. Um, Boston... Place, I should say, not error, my mistake. But this is this is a film all in the details. The fast-paced editing and pacing, it's just brilliant. And that's the thing, it's a film that you have to rewatch to fully just engulf everything that's going on in this film's story. Which I liked because there are a lot of plot twists that when you rewatch it, it's like, oh, yeah, that does make sense. And also the ending, I think it's I almost want to say it's a little heavy-handed, but it, it's not quite. It's one of those endings where I'm like, it's good. It's good. I, I like the symbolism, too. Like, just if you're rewatching the film, notice the X's in the background. That's all I'm going to say. Um, as far as negatives go, honestly, with this film, I think the only negative is that Martin Scorsese, who's the director of this film, he does something in the final act that, although I can praise on its own, I don't fully know if I can accept it just yet. And I've seen this film now at least a half a dozen times, but as of right now, I can't fully accept it with what he does in the final act because it just, I don't know. All I'm going to say is it's George R.R. R. Martin-esque 
And if you know who that is, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm trying to be opaque without actually spoiling the final act of the part. But it's a certain choice he does in the final act. And it's like, it works until it doesn't work. That's the best explanation I can give of it. But overall, The Departed, for now, I'll honestly be giving The Departed a 4.5 and a 5-star rating, which, in hot sauce terms, Tabasco rating, which means it's pretty darn close to perfection. But, guys, um, I mentioned earlier about how The Departed is not the best film of 2006, in my opinion. That's because it was a really tough year, at least uh, in terms of overall. Best Picture nominees, uh, it was actually very, very light, like, like, incredibly light uh, with the competition. The Prestige and Pan's Labyrinth both came out in 2006. And I'll be honest, I think both films are better than The Departed. Um, you also have the film Little Children, Casino Royale. It's just, it's a great year overall, like, when you look at it overall for the industry. But, I don't know, The Departed, it's still a really good film, and it's definitely the higher end in terms of Academy Award winners for Best Picture, but I don't know. It's not quite the best film of 2006 for me, but again, it's just my viewpoint. I still love the film, and, um, you know, I'm really down to hear you guys' thoughts on the film, especially because it's been celebrating uh, its 10-year anniversary now, and actually, no, now it's 12 years old, but I remember when it was celebrating its 10-year anniversary, and I'm like, it's aged well. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you haven't seen it, you have any questions, uh, you know, comment section down below. And always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell. And I will be trying to have up my 2007 Best Picture winner soon, which is No Country for Old Men. So uh, flip it, friendo, and I'll catch you guys later.